USA in the 1950s. Here we go. Who are you? Oh my gosh. Are you President Harry S. Truman? Yes, I am. Who are you, kids? What are you doing here? Hello, I'm Matt and they're my friends. We come from the 21st century. Time travelers. Yes, sir. We're here to learn more about you, the president of our beautiful USA. Would you mind helping us? Okay, I'll give you six true or false questions. If you pass my test, I'll tell you some fun facts about me. Hooray! Question number one. I was the 34th president of the United States. False. You were the 33rd president of the USA, serving from 1945 to 1953. Bingo. Perfect start, kid. Question number two. I became president after Franklin D. Roosevelt retired. Good work. I became president after Roosevelt's death. Before his death, I was his vice president and the 34th vice president of the USA. Question number three. I served in the military in World War I. Easy. True. You served in France and left the army as a captain in May of 1919. Wow, you're really good, kid. Because you've passed the first three questions, I'll share with you a little fact about me. Really? Yes. What do you want to know, Matt? Um, what is your middle name, sir? What does S stand for? Oh, interesting question. I actually don't have a middle name. Whoa! My parents gave me the middle initial us to honor and please my grandfathers, Anderson Ship Truman and Solomon Young. Since the S did not stand for a name, I didn't use a period after it for most of my life. Question number four. I was the second U.S. president to use nuclear weapons. False. Yes, it's false. Dun, 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 dun. I was the first president to drop the atomic bomb to end World War II. Question number five. I was the first U.S. president to appear on TV. True. It's false. My predecessor, Franklin D. Roosevelt, was the first. Last question. Question number six. I signed to establish the CIA. Bingo! In September 1947, after much discussion and debate over structure, I finally signed the National Security Act, which gave birth to the Central Intelligence Agency CIA and the National Security Council NSC. We've answered all your questions. Could you tell us a funny story during or after your presidency, please? Well, after I left office, on one occasion, my dear wife Bess and I decided to drive across the country. We planned to enjoy a leisurely 19-day trip in peace. But the reality was not as relaxing as we imagined. Everywhere we went rest stops, diners, and shops people immediately recognized us and came to say hello. They asked us where we were going and what we were doing. I even got pulled over for driving 55 in the fast lane on the ride home. Did you get fined? We were lucky. No ticket was issued. <laughs> well, time's up. Oh. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. We can meet again later. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful time with me. We've had so much fun. It was an honor to learn more about you. The honor was mine. Matt, take care and keep learning. Until next time. If you enjoy our video, Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks and goodbye.